Is this thing on? Oh, is it on? Oh, I hate this bastard thing. Well, it must be on because I can hear myself. But why? Can't I see myself? Why? 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 Oh, now I'm talking to myself. Must be getting mad. Ah! <laughs> Keep my hands away from the screen before I break something else. You know, you thought I'd have gotten used to this by now, wouldn't you? When I mean, you thought I'd stop talking to you like you're going to say something back as well, but there we are. I think it helps me feel normal, though. Insane. <laughs> it's funny, that, isn't it, how me essentially talking to myself helps me feel sane. Does though. And you know, to say I laughed and told my therapist to piss off when he first suggested this as a way to get your feelings out. Doesn't actually talk like that, obviously. Now, I'm quite proud of myself. I mean, granted, it's only been a couple of weeks, but, you know, small victories and all that. It's not like I can do much else, is it? Been trying to avoid the news as much as I can. You know, only watch it when it's absolutely necessary. Which would be every fucking day, if you ask my neighbours. <laughs> With neighbours like mine, I don't think I need to watch the news. I mean, not to mention when I get the chance to anyway. I'm always working. <laughs> oh, God, don't, don't get me started with work. You know, I thought I hated, I hated my job before, but... Jeez, it was a breeze compared to what we've had to deal with at the minute. You know, I don't think people have quite grasped social distancing. Either that, or they've got a very different perception of what two metres looks like. Anyway, I don't want to talk about work because I only get myself stressed. I've got a date this week, believe it or not. <laughs> a date. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Doing it through this, I mean, not the actual date. Although, that wasn't my idea either. Mm, it's my best mate, Ryan's. He insists that he's found a girl, or rather his girlfriend, Soph, has found a girl, that they think would be perfect for me. A little work-obsessed, he says, but she's into similar stuff to you. What, enjoys working at Sainsbury's for minimum wage, does she? <laughs> and he laughs. But it's a laugh that says... I didn't really find that funny, but I'm going to laugh anyway, just so you don't feel as though the joke has gone unappreciated. I like I'm some fucking narcissist. Which I'm not. So yeah, I thought, yeah, fuck it, why not? And I agreed to the date. But when I asked Ryan if I could see a photo of her, he started telling me how it's going to be a, a blind date. A blind date? I could be a fucking serial killer for all she knows. I mean, not that I could do much to a screen, mind you, but you know, you get my point. So yeah, we're not going to see each other until like, the date. It's all a bit weird, if you ask me. Well, on that note, I'll probably bid you farewell. Adieu. Same thing, really, isn't it? Stupid. Hi, everyone, it's Hannah, and welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be really different to what you usually see here, but I wanted to talk to you all about something that I've been thinking about recently relationships. Yep, so. I feel that I'm finally ready to address my horror with relationships and start expanding my options to finally start dating again. I was talking to my friend, Sophie, the other day. She's a hopeless romantic. And we started talking about date etiquette and how you should act on these dates, which I think is rubbish, really, because why do we have to change ourselves to please a man? He should like me for me, right? But now Soph thinks that I'm really stubborn, which I don't think so at all. I'm not. I just don't want to change myself to please a man. 
And anyway, her and her boyfriend have decided to set me up on some blind date because apparently you can still fall in love whilst in lockdown. <laughs> well, it happened once for Rapunzel, so I'm sure it'll happen to me. <sighs> I know I sound really pessimistic, but I can't help it. Not with my history anyway. What if this guy is a complete idiot? What if he looks like Chris Hemsworth, but he's actually a dickhead? Huh. Guess I wouldn't have a problem if he looked like that. <laughs> anyway, this whole date is gonna be online, of course. Can't go anywhere else, can we? <laughs> and it's gonna be over a video call, which sounds really interesting, but in all honesty, I'm kind of scared. Usually, when you go to cinema or a restaurant, there's always something happening in the background that you can comment on if the conversation goes a little bit awkward, but this, though, is just me, him, two screens, and that's it. So we really have to make sure that we have a lot to talk about, or it could be really awkward. <sighs> How stressful. <sighs> I'm rambling on because I just don't want to have another failed relationship. I'm sick of going on dates and then being terrible because the guy thinks he's all that. I just want someone who loves me for me. I don't care about all the fancy stuff. Am I overthinking it? I'm sorry if this video has been a real downer. I just, I guess I just wanted to get my nerves out before I go on this date. I'm really tempted to call the whole thing off. <laughs> no, no, not going to do that. I'm gonna enjoy speaking to whoever it is and find the person that I've been looking for. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth, here I come. <laughs> Well, anyway, better get ready. See you later. <laughs>
I knew you couldn't resist me, really. Oh, please, don't flatter yourself. Okay. I'm just not going to be the reason that this turns out to be a disaster. Sorry, were you not there on our previous dates? They ended in nothing but disaster. The way I see it, we've got two choices. Oh, and what are they? Well, we can sit here bickering for five minutes, or we can use this time to the best of our ability. <laughs> nice to see you still reading your uh, self-help books. Can you just shut up for five minutes? I'm trying to make the best out of a clearly shitty situation. I just think this experience is only a negative one if we let it be. Oh, fuck, you know, you sound like my therapist. Poor guy, I feel sorry for him. Sorry, that wasn't very nice. Even if you are a dickhead. Oh, ghost of my twat. Now I'm a dickhead. You want to make your mind up? So what did you mean by the whole, it's only a negative experience if we let it be one? We know as far as dating is concerned, me and you are an absolute disaster, yeah? Yeah. So, why don't we help each other out? I'm not sure that'll follow. Do I have to spell it out to you? No. I just don't speak in riddles. Oh my God. Right, so me and you have been on a couple of dates. Yes. Yes, it may or may not have been disastrous. Yes, it may or may not have been your fault. I was kidding, kind of. Anyway, my point is that how often is it that you get to have feedback on the dates that went wrong? Ah, so what you're saying then is that you think we should give each other tips on how to be better at dates in the future. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> this could be fun. That doesn't mean that you just have a reason to insult me either. We're doing this to help each other, remember, not to harm. If you're all finished, Mr. Dalai Lama, I am ready to begin. Right, well that's my first pointer. You don't know when to be serious. Everything's always a joke to you. Or could it just not be you don't have a sense of humour? Or you're just not funny. Excuse me. Well, and you can't be challenging me every time that I make a suggestion either. We'll see. Uh, are you ready for your first pointer? Go ahead. Well, I think you have a hard time hearing the truth. Excuse me? It's true, you do. Or, at the very least, You'll struggle to hear someone's opinion if it doesn't agree with your own. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I disagree. Point proven. Hey, what happened to not challenging one another anyway? Yeah, but this is different. You're wrong. Prime example being earlier, when I said how Ryan thought it sounded like you were obsessed with work. Should have seen your face. Firstly, my look was about the fact that he didn't even want to do this in the first place. And secondly, I did see my face because we're on a video call, you prick. And just so we're clear, I'm not obsessed with work. I'm just passionate and I set myself high standards. So, are you still in the design business? Oh, don't start with that like you actually care. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm trying to be nice and ask questions. You know, that's what you're supposed to do on a date. Yeah, but this isn't a date, is it? And that's for you, being nice. Don't be. It's unsettling. <sighs> All right, then, little Miss Fix-It. Any other pointers? Yeah. You eat like a slob. Excuse me? What? It's true. You eat like you've never been fed. Barely <laughs> swallowing the last mouthful before shoveling the next forkful in your mouth. Oh, you've got real poor taste in shirts. Your aftershave can be really overbearing at times as well. Oh, and you should really think about mixing it up in terms of restaurant choice as well. Well, you only ever took me to Italian restaurants. Because you said you liked Italian. Yeah, but I like other things as well. Well, how was I supposed to know that? You never told me that. 
You know, a little communication wouldn't have gone amiss. Okay, calm down. No, you've got to be kidding me. Like I said, you've got a hard time hearing the truth. Uh, you're one to talk. Uh, no, no, no. You saying I've got poor taste in shirts and overbearing aftershave is not the truth. It's your opinion. You know, you can sit there saying, we're doing this to help, remember? Not harm. But as far as I'm concerned, that wasn't very helpful. If anything, it was hurtful. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. You want me to be serious? This is me being serious. You should be more considerate of people's feelings when you say things. <laughs> and I'm shit with words. How do you know that I hadn't spent all afternoon worrying about what shirt to wear? Which one's the most flattering? You know, it's no surprise that you're not getting many dates. Who said I'm not getting many dates? Call it a lucky guess. And you know, it's also interesting that from all of that, you only picked up the part where I said you're not getting many dates. So perhaps listening, you know, really listening, should be another one of your pointers. Look, I'm not saying what I said you know, to hurt your feelings. I just think it's necessary sometimes to... Hurt my feelings. Be honest, is what I was going to say before you interrupted me. I'm sorry. Sure. No need to be patronising. Oh, that wasn't my intention. I just wanted to know what you're apologising for. You know, I want you to do it because you want to, not just because I've said something. I feel like I'm being torn off by my parents. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Never meant to hurt your feelings. Should have thought more about what I said and how it might affect you. Thank you. And I'm sorry too. I only said those things because I was angry. Not that that's an excuse, mind you. You know, to say you suggested this is a way for us to, you know, get along better. <laughs> We're not doing very well, are we? <laughs> Although it did confirm something for me. What's that? This year. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> um, so you were asking earlier if I'm still in the designing business. Well, yeah, I'm a interior designer. Oh, very fancy. Bit of a Nick Knowles then, are you? <laughs> Hardly. Yeah, you're right. He's better looking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for what it's worth, by the way, I didn't think it sounded like you're obsessed with work. I probably am a little bit. I'm not someone who likes to do nothing. <sighs> the easiest way for me to do that is to just throw myself into my work. Have you ever thought about pursuing a relationship? It'll keep you plenty busy. Yeah, but there's a lot less heartbreaking work than there is in relationships. Yeah, I don't know. What do you mean? I mean, if you're a divorce lawyer, I'm sure there's plenty of heartbreak. <laughs> Me, like I said, not funny. Oh, come on, that was funny. Not even a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Why have you agreed to do this then if you're not interested in dating or relationships? Honestly, so challenged me to do it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What? You, you're unbelievable. Having a go at me because I was pretty much forced into it when all along you were as well. Fine, maybe I was being a little bit of a hypocrite. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Well, come on then, what was the challenge? She just thought that finding love during lockdown was possible and I wasn't so sure. 
So um, the guinea pig then essentially in your little experiment. Yes, you are, yeah. And if I squint, I would go as far as to say you look a bit like... Uh, all right, Nick, don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> So, what do you do for work? I supply the public with everything they might need to get themselves through this harrowing time. You know, I, I do it all whilst keeping a smile on my face and telling a joke or two, of course. So you start saying to is what you're saying? <laughs> yes, but it sounded better when I put it like that, didn't it? And I'll have you know that I'm actually a senior supervisor now, so... Uh, they. Oh, I apologise. <laughs> mm. That's not what you want to be doing forever, though, is it? I mean, no. Ideally, I'd be travelling right now, but, you know, it's a bit hard with the global pandemic, isn't it? I mean, at least I could be preparing, anyway. Well, at least you can take the time to save, I guess, because God knows it's expensive. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> Have you done much, then? Been to a few places. I went to India last year with work, which was really good. Fucking hell, I should get a job in interior design if that's the places you get to visit. It's not usually like that. She was just a client with a very particular taste, shall we say. So she was a nightmare. <laughs> Put it this way, India was the only <sighs> other job that I enjoyed. <laughs> you know, not to get too serious. Well, I think this is the most that we've ever laughed with each other. And it's all because of my witty banter and dashing good looks. Yeah, well, you always were delusional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you think it's funny, though, that this is the only time we've ever come remotely close to getting along? And it's because of a screen. Is that the reason, though? Do you not think so? I mean, I don't know. That's why I asked you, Einstein. What makes you think that I have an answer? Oh, I don't know, because you've got an opinion on just about everything, that's why. <sighs> I'm just passionate. Mm hmm Fine. Maybe I'm a little bit opinionated. Mm, maybe a little bit. <laughs> but I do think it's largely to do with the screen as to why this date is undoubtedly going better than the other ones that we've had in the past. You're not going to ask why? Well, that's what the silence was for. I was waiting for you to explain. Well, for one, I think we've listened to each other more. Before it felt like we weren't very good at listening. We just listened to respond as opposed to understand. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing, just now I know for a fact that you're still reading those self-help books. <laughs> Is it not true, though? I guess, kind of. I think it's probably helped that we've had less distractions as well. What do you mean? I mean, usually a, a date in a public setting, isn't it? And there's a lot around you capable of distracting you. A couple in the corner of the restaurant arguing, or the TV in the local pub. But, you know, this is it's different, isn't it? It's me, you, two screens, and that's it. Yeah, so I guess for the date to really work, we've had to invest in the conversation. Have you enjoyed yourself? Oi! I heard what you said. Oh, so you were ignoring me on purpose then, were you? I was just thinking... <sighs> yes. I have. Have you? Mm. <laughs> yeah, how it goes. So, have we changed your mind? Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. It's all right. Your secrets are safe with me. <laughs> I'm not sure yet whether you've changed my mind. It's 
hard to tell after just one date. Now that, that definitely sounds like you're asking me out on another date. Yeah, well, like I said, you always were delusional. <laughs> <laughs>